Edron Cooper is a top 30 visit who is widely considered as one of the best off-ball linebackers coming out of college, who is known for his exceptional ability to cover receivers as well as closing in and getting to the quarterback. A true problem at the linebacker position who is a force to be reckoned with, collecting eight sacks and 17 tackles for a loss all in the 2023 season. But if this guy has a skill set to be able to stop the run, cover, as well as being a leader on and off the field, he just might be one of the guys the Cowboys end up striking come draft day. So when we're breaking down a guy like Edron Cooper, he's one of the players that originally committed to Oklahoma, but he decided to go to Texas A&M. And this guy went out there and he was one of the top dogs throughout his career. One of the guys that can be able to blitz, he can be able to cover. So it's very important to be able to have guys with versatility. And he also has an 80 inch wingspan. It's hard to be able to find players like this, guys that can be able to stick their arms out we want to see leverage. We want guys to be able to close in and make plays. And being 6'2", 230 pounds, and having that type of length, it's always room to be able to tackle on more muscle. And if this guy can get even more stronger, having those long arms like that, that's what's going to allow him to wreck games on the field. So on this play here, it's going to be a draw to the inside. That guard is going to be attempting to get to the second level to attack Cooper. But we like to see the footwork when it comes down to this player. A lot of these linebackers, they have played running back and vice versa. But having that start-stop ability, as well as the vision to be able to lock in on the ball carrier and finish the rep, it is everything, Cowboys Nation. And these are the type of linebackers that we need, guys that can be able to close on the ball and get this thing rolling. So we go ahead and spin the block. So watching Edron Cooper, you see that this guy's lurking on a play. And looking at that center, he's trying to get to the second level, but the linebacker's getting slippery. And the good thing about these linebackers, you got to be able to get slippery. You do see his long arms right there. But keying in on that left foot right there, just being able to plant and just understand what that running back is doing and having a position in to be able to close in and make a play. It's hard to be able to find linebackers that can be able to do things like this. But if you can be one of the guys that can be able to just use your feet well, use your hands well, sometimes you can be able to close in and make plays. But this is the type of energy that we need, Cowboys Nation. Jace McClellan is a running back that's going to get drafted this year. And watching film of this game, those two guys was battling it out. And I got to show y'all these top tier matchups because me and you got to scout to see what these guys are doing against these top dogs coming out of college. So it's always great to see this kind of action. And with this season coming up, you will see a lot of linebackers that's going to be lined up all over the field. Sometimes you'll have these guys squeezing in between A and B gaps. You'll have them blitzing on the outside or dropping in coverage. Mike Zimmer loves linebackers that can be a versatile piece to this defense. So seeing Edron Cooper being able to drop in coverage, lock in on McClellan, and close in for the tackle for a loss. These are the type of plays here that are fireworks when it comes down to that linebacker position. And this is how you can be able to go out there and make a difference. So we'll go ahead and run it. So locking in on Edron Cooper, you see that this guy was dropping in the coverage, but quickly he saw that running back getting the ball. And just zooming in on his footwork, you can see what this guy's doing. The better linebackers can be able to transition well and plant and be able to close onto the ball. You got to be able to roam sideline to sideline, having that vision to be able to dissect this play and close in and finish it and get a tackle for a loss. This is how you can be able to separate the men from the boys. And with this type of player here, having over 80 tackles, 17 tackles for a loss, he was doing this all throughout last season. But the main thing is, if you can be able to step up like this when it comes down to big games, these are the type of reps here that coaches like to see come Sundays. So here's another play right here that ended up being a bad play on Edger and Cooper. He's going up against McClellan again. But the thing is, these linebackers, sometimes they can be overly aggressive. So if you end up shooting that hole too fast, this is what you don't want because you can get juked out of your cleats and you do not want the offense getting chunk plays. So we'll go ahead and run it. So just watching McClellan getting the ball, and just keying in on Edron Cooper, you see that this guy was closing in. And sometimes you can end up getting juked. Just watching McClellan's right foot right there. With these players, all it takes is a plant sometimes. And you can be able to catch a guy off guard. So you got to be able to just play with technique. Because you can't give up these type of plays like this. It's not a good look. But I'm not saying that this guy was doing this throughout the whole season. But he does have plays where he angles wrong. So making sure that you can be able to just use your eyes, you can play with good technique, close in and make the tackle. So seeing this rep here, you don't want the linebacker to play with that water boy type of mentality, that see ball, get ball every single rep, because sometimes one cut can be the biggest difference of the play. These guys going out there and getting chunk plays and it can be able to shift the momentum. 
So on this play here, you're going to see Edger and Cooper. He's going to attack the quarterback and make a big time sack and get a turnover. But looking at the defensive end, he's going to be looping to the inside. That left tackle, he's going to be trying to block him. But just seeing a closing speed from a guy like Edger and Cooper, if you're the type of athlete that can be able to turn over the ball and give the ball back to Dak Prescott, when you look at guys like Mike McCarthy, everybody on the coaching staff, you got to pay attention to little things like that when it comes down to these defensive players, guys that can go out there and make a difference and wreck games. So we'll go ahead and run it. Watching Edron Cooper, he's creeping to the line of scrimmage and just seeing this guy, he's closing in and getting to the quarterback and delivering the boom. It's great to be able to see it because if you're on a quarterback's blind side, sometimes he can catch you off guard. This guy completely fumbled the ball. You see the ball right there. And it's so good to be able to have linebackers that could be able to turn the ball over like this because shifting that momentum, getting the whole team going as a whole. If you can be able to have a guy like this to be a true impact player, these are the type of players that you need. And literally, this video is all Alabama tape. I like to see what this guy can be able to do against tough competition. And this guy went out there and got it done. So seeing Cooper not only being able to roam and make tackles, but close and get to the quarterback, if he can continue to keep making a difference like this, it won't be long until he is named one of the top linebackers in the NFL. Adrian Cooper, linebacker. So on this final play here, the quarterback's going to be scrambling to the right side. And when you see Edrian Cooper, he's going to step up. It's going to look like this guy's going to be going in coverage. He's going to be shuffling his feet to the right side. Next thing you know, he's going to close in and attack the quarterback. And this is one of the reps that I wanted to show y'all because having that ability to be able to just close, get in open field, and get to the quarterback, it is definitely needed for the Cowboys linebacker room. So we'll go ahead and run it. So it's going to be a pass play. And this guy's bluff blitzing. Next thing you know, he's dropping in coverage. He's sliding his feet. And just watching the quarterback, you see that this guy's locked in. I like to be able to see things like this and pause it just so you can see before this guy takes off. And watching the quarterback, he's moving to the right side. And looking at the closing speed from Edger and Cooper, I mean, these are the things that you like to see. And with this game, this guy literally had about 13 tackles. He had three sacks, four tackles, four loss. And if you can be able to do this in big time games, Cowboys Nation, I think that this guy can go out there and step up when it comes down to Sundays. So with a guy like Cooper, the Dallas Cowboys is going to have to think long and hard about this guy. If this guy is available in that first round, if there aren't any left tackles available, if they feel as though that they can be able to trade back or be able to strike this guy at number 24, this is something that you really have to think about because if you can be able to have this guy with Eric Kendricks, I think that this guy can go out there and make a difference, but the linebacker room is going to be extremely important. You want guys that can be athletic, guys that can be able to roam sideline to sideline. You can blitz these guys in all angles, but having guys that can really go out there and be a leader and make a difference. So it's going to be good to see, but the Dallas Cowboys, they have so much work to do. But if a guy like Edron Cooper is there, they're going to have to think long and hard because I think that this guy could be a top dog for this defense and a guy that can be able to really get things going. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and unique breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation. Talk to y'all soon. Gone.